Well, good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome along to the fabulous Star Casino on the Gold Coast. My name's Dave Bella, the Fight MC, and we have a massive night of boxing action, all thanks to our good friends at UltraTune. Australia takes on the world in this five-star boxing event. We've got a multitude of Australian champions. We have three title fights on the card tonight. It is a big, big night of boxing action. Let's get the ball rolling as we kick it off tonight. Please welcome our red corner, Ray Ingram. And his opponent in the blue corner, Billy Limbaugh. This fight, ladies and gentlemen, all thanks to our sponsors, the Toy Box Gentlemen's Club. First of all, fighting out of our red corner, this man weighed in at 69.3 kilos. He trains out of Terry Lewis as he fights out of the Earlwood Boxing Gym. Please welcome Ray Ingram. <laughs> fighting out of our blue corner, he weighed in at 69.8 kilos. Training under Damian Smith, he fights out of the Deception Bay Boxing Gym. Please welcome Billy Lima. Teams have given the instructions in the change room, but I can't do it all the time. It was a nice clean fight, okay? Good luck to both of you, okay? All the best, eh? Fight two coming up, Nathan DiCarlo, Billy Limov, Ray Ingram. Billy's in you know, a very exciting prospect. He's only had the one loss to Joel Camilleri. We all know Joel Camilleri who just had that great account of himself with his fight against Tim Zhu. You know, he lost to Camilleri early in his career. He took on Camilleri. That's boxing. He's, he's not trying to, to test himself. A guy like James Ingram, I've got to say, though, Ray Ingram, sorry, he is a promoter's dream. He will fight anyone, and he's never been stopped. He's a tough, tough man. Yeah, I saw Ray uh, fight on the Billy Hussain card at the end of last year, actually, when he scored, a unanimous, he scored a unanimous decision win over Bobby Antonakis. And Bobby's been around forever. So um, he's been very active this year as well, already having three fights. And this, this one being his fourth. So fourth already for the year. We're only in June. So that's uh, pretty active as a fighter. Yep. Like I said before, he fights anyone. He, he, a day's notice, he'll take the fight. And he always, like you said, you know, he always holds a good account of himself. Yep. Billy Limov too, you know, I saw him and he he got knocked down against James J James Javons and he got dropped with a heavy, I think it was a left hook. Yep. And he come back, he recovered well and he came back. I think it was in the same round. He ended up stopping uh, Javons with a nice right hand of himself. So he's shown that he can come back from being hurt in a fight, which, you know, obviously is, you know, good good amateur pedigree and also being in great condition. Yeah, he's only had the six fights, but he's been thrown in the deep, deep end very quickly. Yeah. He's uh, already had a draw with Adrian Rodriguez for the Queensland title. You know, obviously for Joel Camilleri, like you said earlier, he's been thrown in with all the, you know, the who's who of boxing in that division, in Australia anyway, and, uh, you know, given a really good account of himself. He's a fighter. He's a, he's a, he's a fan's dream. That's what the fans like to see. You know, I mean, it, it's very important matching our fighters and bringing them along well. But when you see guys like this who just fight, fight, you know, fights, sometimes they shouldn't take some fights. It might be a little bit out of their league, but yep. it's what the fans love. And it's what we admire about boxing. And Australian boxers are always known on the world stage to hold a good account of themselves and have big heart, like the great Jeff Fennick that we've seen earlier on in our show from the highlight reel. Yeah, I think it's a credit, too, to his trainer, Damian Smith, from the Deception Bay Boxing Club always uh, throws his boys in the deep end. He, he believes in their ability and sometimes they, they pay dividends because they, they, they're they more often than not winners. Yep. Well, you look at you know, all the great fighters, they all had hard fights. You know what I mean? And you, all, you live and you learn and it's not so much having a loss on your career. Sometimes it's more important to get that experience that you got from that loss yep. to help you, you know, Floyd Mayweather has made the new thing about being undefeated but... Yeah. You know, he's a credit, he's a, he's a flash champion, but 
all the greats have lost. All the greats have lost and learnt and carried on and fought again. This fight is starting to warm up here. Like I said before, Ray Ingram, he gives everyone a hard fight. He's a tough, tough man. So four fights you're saying this year for Ray Ingram. He has been busy, hasn't he? Well, this, this is his fourth fight, yeah. He's already had three before this one, so this will be his fourth fight. July last year, he had, uh, he had an unsuccessful attempt for the New South Wales State Super Welterweight title against Troy O'Mealy. Uh, but Troy, before that fight, was 6-0. and So, once again, a guy that jumped in the deep end with anyone. Yeah, if you beat Ray Ingram, you don't, you don't beat him in an easy fight. It's always, yep. You always have to bring your best. You have to bring your A game. You have to be in good condition. Because this man is there to fight. And like I said before, he's very tough. He hasn't been stopped. In any of his fights. Hitting him with that, that right hand lead quite often, Ray Ingram is tonight. He's, uh, Billy's got to start yeah. moving his head a little bit more. His eyes in. You know, and you know what that means in boxing. When your eyes in, you can just see the shots, you yep. can land the shots. You're just used to it, Landon. And a lot of times it's from a lot of sparring. I think in Ray's um, count, he is from a lot of fights. He's always stop, fighting. Stop. He loves being in the gym, he loves being in the ring. Yeah, yeah. Let's go, box. I've got to be critical of Billy Lamov. When he throws punches, his head stays in the same spot. He doesn't roll with his punches, and that's why sometimes yep. he's susceptible to getting hit himself as he's throwing. The other, the other, his opponent throws and catch, catches him on the way in. Yes, like you said, his head is a little... You know, he's got beautiful punches. If he looks for the shots, he throws nice shots, but the head is always straight. And sometimes that chin's just a little bit up in the air for my liking. 100%. To, like, as you know, Nath, when you know, have a fighter who doesn't move his head, all you wait for is for him to step forward. When he steps, you throw because you know that head is coming. You know where it's coming. You know where your punch will land. And when it lands, it lands with double the power because they're creating their force against yourself. Yep. You know, it's early in his career, and that's an easy fix. And I'm sure they'll work on it because they know, you know you're going to have to work on these things. You're going to have to perfect your basics. Perfect all your basics, little things you're doing. A little bit of head movement there looks good. It looks hard for Ingram to land a nice shot. That's what he said. You know, that's that's what we're talking about. A little bit of head movement. That's nice. Much better. Much it's better for Billy Lamont. Yeah. You can just put his chin a little bit down. As Mike Tyson used to say, the great Mike Tyson, yep. you look through your eyebrows. Look your through your eyebrows. Down. Correct. Mixing things up here, but Ray Ingram, once again, he lands with that nice left hook after the exchanges. It's a good battle. It's a good second fight for, on this card tonight. One thing I'm noticing too about Ray, you know, I love that he takes every fight. He fights anyone. Yep. Sometimes he stays in the same gear. You know what I mean? He's a good fighter. He's a, he's a good counter. Player. He's very tough. Sometimes you like to see him speed things up, slow things down. Hey, just stop, stop. change it around a little bit. Stop, stop, guys, stop. I say stop, you're stop, okay? Because you can hit down there. Philip Holiday, a referee. Very experienced fighter himself. Very he experienced fighter. Knows his way around the ring, that's no doubt. Yes, sir. South African champion, had that win over the great Jeff Fennick back in the day. Good to have him here as a referee. As we can see, some of the punches that were thrown in that round were just unbelievable. Both boys giving a great account of themselves. Is that like a and it, it's very odd too, Carly. Ray's had 17 pro fights. This is his 18th pro fight. Usually that happens after their first or second fight. They start doubting themselves. But it, unless something's wrong, unless yeah, they you know, went through exactly. something in camp that we don't know about, there's yeah. always that relationship between fighter and trainer. There's things they say that only they know. That's right. There's another good right hand there from Ray, but he's holding a good account of himself. He comes out and starts his fight good. I'd like to see Billy just change his levels a bit, just start, you know, obviously cramping the style of Ray and, and dropping dropping his knees a little bit and getting to the body of Ray. That's where I'd like to see him. There we go. That's that's a good start. It's a good start. He's nice on his feet, nice and, you know, using his balance, using his distance, that head movement here that you wanted to see, that's all good. Yep. I like it. It's nice. This stage of his career, he's learning and he's trying things, and it's good. It's good to see. He's learning how things work when he does his head movement, when he comes off the jab, when he goes to the body. 
what happens if he stays in range with a guy like Ray will just keep throwing. A couple of shots there, straight shots. There's another one there from Ray Ingram. He's just leaving his head, sitting in the pocket there. Too much Billy Lomov tonight. You know, good fight for him. A guy like Ray, he makes fighters improve. Yep. You know what I mean? He hasn't got the best record, but he will make you fight. He will make you perfect your basis, because if you don't, he will get you every time. You see when uh, Billy throws his shots, yep. Ray seems to cover up, and then he'll always come back with either a left hook or a straight right hand. So if you're doing things wrong and he's landing with those shots, you've got to improve. You've got to fix those things, otherwise he will continue to land because this man will throw. Especially if you're not slipping with your punches, like I said earlier. You're a sitting duck there. After you finish throwing, there, you've got an open shot. Open shot to your head coming for your opponent. Good fight, good matchup. It's a five-round fight. Uh, I think the crowd is, you know, expecting the crowd want to see someone get hurt or to go toe-to-toe, yep. -to -toe, but... You know what you're looking at. This is a good fight, and it's really starting to warm up now. And this is where Ray has him against the ropes. He needs to throw his big bombs. I was talking about before, you know, the same, Ray, Ray. same speed. He needs Ray, to step Ray. up that speed, gets his opponent on the ropes, gets Billy against the ropes, throws some big, heavy, heavy bombs. The most dangerous spot is on the ropes in a boxing ring or in the corner. So he's got to take advantage when he's got his opponent there. What's your head? What's your head? What's your head? See, I mean, he's always in the same same speed, yep. same motion. I like yep. to see him step it up a bit because he's a tough, tough man. Good shots there from Billy Lamont. Beautiful okay, shots. Break, break, break. Landed back, two, back. and Ray Ingram, tough as usual, keeps marching forward. Oh, the left hook there from Ray Ingram. This is a good fight. This is a really good round, actually. It's from both boys. Fight. It's a close yeah, fight. You know, a guy like Ray, too, he can ride the shot. Sometimes, you know, Billy will throw a nice shot. Ray would just ride it at the last minute. And look at these shots from both boys. Round four. Nice. Ray's got his hands up nice and high. He can ride those punches. He's got his eye in because he fights a lot. He can see those punches. Yep. You know, Billy's got to be careful as he comes in because if he misses with that right, if Ray's able to ride it or block it, Ray will counter with that left hook like we've seen so far tonight. Nice little right hand from Ray Ingram. Yeah. And there's that left hook that we spoke about. Yep. You know, this is another good matchup where both fighters bring out the best of each other. And mm. it's always good to see. No one wants to see heavy, heavy mismatches. We want to see two guys bring out the best of each other, test each other, you know, and go home safe to their families. That's it. And this, these are the fights that progress your careers. There's no doubt both boys after this bout will be better fighters. Exactly. They will have had to improve on stuff. You don't get into a fight like this, you know, with someone who brings out the best of you and not improve. You do improve. You learn something so much both fighters will you know learn from this fight and hopefully they'll learn a bit from our commentary of little things that we can spot from the outside looking in yep but otherwise a great fight a great matchup a couple of really good shots there as you were speaking from ray ingram catching the mark of billy lamov he's found a home for that left hook there's no doubt tonight and the thing is um Billy doesn't know if the left hook's coming or the right because he mm. has mixed it up a bit. You know, yep. more so the left hook as another beautiful left hook lands there. Billy Lamov starts bringing his punches himself. There's no real combination punching here, Nathan. It's just stand and swing and slug and hope for the best, yep. which is always entertaining. Yeah, this is, this is the crowd's dream, obviously. The lonely place inside the squared circle. You remember, Nathan, it yeah. can be a lonely place, and especially if you're not in good condition. But these guys are both in good condition. They're both taking good shots, and they both keep fighting back. It is very, very lonely place. There's no one else to help you. There's not uh, like a football game or saying 12 other mates to help you out. It's, it's you and no one else. You can't do an accidental head high tackle and get a bit of a rest. See, this is where I'd like to see Ray just start to speed things up a little bit. You know, yep. every now and then just throw a one-two as fast as he can instead of staying at the same pace and looking for that nice left hook, which he's doing great. He's doing good at it, but it's just a little bit of improvements that I can see. 
I agree. Yeah, and, and we'll see it here. Good he starts to speed it up. Yeah, yeah. the right hand and left hook. Now he jumps on his opponent a bit, and it's exciting when he does that. Billy Limov, tough as usual, keeps coming back. His chin's a little bit open. He's got a little oh. bit of head move. These are some good left hooks from Ryan Group. You know, I wouldn't surprise if he's taken this round or the last round because of those left hooks. Tell you what, Carly, it's like they're listening to you because everything you just said, they just did. So, good work, both boys. Really entertaining last bit of that round, round four. Very entertaining. I must say, I've got to take my hat off to Ray Ingram's uh, his corner, his coach, because he's obviously improved. He's improved every fight I see him. And what a round it was, round four. Look, both boys playing, throwing plenty of leather again. But Ray, I thought, had the better of the shots, I've got to admit. It was see, a couple of good right hands there. Yeah. Three right hands and the lift hook to follow up. He's so comfortable with that left hook, and just when you think he's going to throw that left hook, he sneaks that right hand in it instead. Good to see, good to see. Billy Limov obviously in great condition because he's won some shots, but he looks in good condition. You know, he doesn't seem that phased at all. Fifth and final round. What are we going to see, Nathan? What are we going to see in this last round? I hope, hopefully, more of the same because it's been entertaining so far. Hopefully, the boys keep on throwing. And I think it's just going to build up. This is an exciting fight. The first fight was a great fight. We're just going to have Dempsey McKean's in next. Tyson Best with Induk Seal, the South Korean. Ben Kelleher, Patrick Ferguson. Jacob NG, as usual, is going to be entertainment package against Ricard, Ricard Lara from Mexico. And then we've got Liam Paro against the Turkish former Olympian, Faith Kellis. Faith, Fatiha Kellis. I hope I'm pronouncing his name right as Ingram just lands a nice cheeky little right hand lead there. Yeah, another good right hand there from Ingram. See, that's what I mean. The fights that he has lost, he has made his opponents work yes. work for the win. He, he, he always holds account of himself. He always tries, and he's tough. He's very, very tough. It's good to see Billy Limov trying different things. Look, and here's Corner telling him to step around with your back foot throw the shot then. He's trying different things and it's good. But whatever you throw, that left hook from Ray will come back at you. And that was a good body shot from Lamov. That's what I wanted to see more of him this fight. Start to the body and then finish to the head. When he has his opponent against the ropes like here, that's exactly what he needs to do. That's what he needs to do. Exactly. Exactly. Done. It was good. Okay, listen to what's here, guys. Both of you knew knows. Okay, he wants to let them fight. He was a warrior himself. For sure. Great, great boxer. Was in some heads, classic guys. fights. Last round here. Obviously, these fighters aren't feeling the pinch because it has been a tough fought battle. Yep. But they're in great condition. Ray Ingram looks again for that right hand. He's going to sometime in this in this exchange. He's going to look for that left hook. He's going to try and find a home for that left hook. Oh, good right hand there from Lamov as he walks on. But here comes Ingram back. Limov, I think he just needs to keep hustling, 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 throwing those shots, but a head movement. He's got to be careful. I'd like to see him have his hands up and chin down a little bit. A little bit of head movement like that looks good. Much better. Never goes astray, that head movement, and you punch off it. Ingram, you, just, you can just see he finds a home inside the ring. He just looks so relaxed. He just looks so comfortable in there, doesn't he? Yeah, no doubt. He's And he's... he's Looking really, really good here, this fight. Even compared to his last yeah, fight that I saw, yep. it's like he's grown in confidence. I know he had that really good win against Bobby Antonakis that I spoke about, but he was, uh, hey, break, yeah, break. It was, his performance go, 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 go. now is even higher than that. So it's making a, a gr very grim task for Billy Lamov here tonight. Oh, we've got to be proud of both of these guys. Like you said, oh. Ray Ingram doing good. <laughs> Landing his punches in this last round. Two big right hands there from Ray Ingram. And hats off to both boys. What a fight again. Great second fight of the night. I hope everyone on Epicenter.tv, everyone watching from Epicenter is happy with that. We've got the heavyweight coming up next, Dempsey McKean. Should be some fireworks. We can see some highlights here from the last round. Round five. Just a couple of really good shots there from Ray Ingram. That right hand kept on finding the chin of Billy Lamov tonight.
Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds of boxing action, we go to our judges' scorecards. Judge Derek Millam scored the fight 48-47 to Ingram. Judge Adam Height scored the fight 48-47 to Lamar. And Judge Phil Austin scored the fight 48-47 for a split decision to the blue corner, Billy Limmer.